What's up, it's your boy Marquis Stewart, also known as Mar Mar, an inspiring actor, singer, model, talk show host, and activist, coming to you with the greatest party story ever. So, I'm just going to keep it simple, you know, it started off with my brother, he was graduating back in 2012, I was 17 years old, and his people was having a graduation party, you know, I'm thinking to myself, my brother was like, you want to come, you want to go, you want to go, I'm like... Dude, that's not, that shouldn't even be an answer, a question, bro. Like, of course I want to go. So, you know, after he graduated, we getting ready for the party, everything. You know, we with the family spending time. I'm just thinking about, yo, about to be at this party with the big dogs, people going to college. You know, I got two years on me and left in high school. I'm only 17 years old. But, you know, it's about to be epic. It's about to be mayhem. I'm just excited, yo. Like, I'm just ready for everything that's about to happen. So, we go to the party, you know, we're driving, we're getting ready. I'm just like, you know, pre-gaming a little bit. And I'm just like thinking to myself, like, I'm so excited, but I'm just like, when are we about to get to this party? Like, we have not arrived at the party yet. So we get off the highway and we're going down this road, like this dark road. Like, I thought Jeeper, Jeepers Creepers was going to pop out or come down or something. Like, I'm just looking like, okay, this is some out of horror film. I'm looking. We driving. It's 20 minutes, 30 minutes going by. It's all land. No street lights or nothing. Not anything in sight but land and trees. And I look and I'm just like, bro, when are we about to arrive? The GPS is like destinations to your right and like less than 3.5 miles or something like that. <laughs> so we, we drive it and then all of a sudden I look over to the right. And what do you know? All you see is just like a, a land of light. In all this dark land. And it's just like, you see, it's like a long pathway to get to the light. So I'm just like, okay, so we park the car, we get out the car. The path to the party looks like it takes about five to ten minutes to walk down. And I'm just like, Lord knows, like, oh my gosh, we've been pre-gaming. And I'm just so amped and excited about it. So we walking down. And all I'm thinking to myself is like the Wizard of Oz, lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my. I'm like, please, God, get me through this. I just want to get to this party, have a good time, and turn up and, and live life and get lit, you know? So we walk in, you know, and I'm hearing noises left, right, above me, under me, around me. And I'm just like, bro, like, I, this is some sketchy stuff, man. Like, what is going on here? Like, I don't understand what's going on, but I just want to get to this party. So I look up and you see it. Nothing but light. It was like, hallelujah, hallelujah. Like, it was so dope. We get to the end of the, the, the I want to say tunnel because it's the light at the end of the tunnel, but the pathway, and it was like a party in heaven. I mean, you got pools, you got hot tubs, you got people swinging from trees and people just everywhere. And I mean, it was like mean girls in life at a party. You had your gox, gox. You had your, your jocks over here. You had the gothics. You had the geeks, the nerds, the chillers, the athletes, everything. And I'm just like, yo, we about to have a good time tonight. Like, it's about to go down. So, you know, we, we, we turning up and we separated. We split up from my bro and his homeboys. And I'm like, okay, I'm just about to fit in. No one knows my age. About to have a good time. And then all of a sudden... You know, everything is going good, music going, people in the pool, hot tub, bonfire, and all you hear is somebody running saying, oh man, it's the police, we got busted. I said, what? I said, we just got here, the turn up just started, what you mean it just, we just got busted? Busted what? Out of the pathway, you see the cops coming down, like literally running, jogging with their dogs. Let, they let their dogs off the leash to come, the canine to come, and they had their flashlight. All of a sudden, it just became a mosh pit, like a world, world, a world war Z. Like everything was going chaos. Like people are flipping and tumbling, running over each other, tables turning, flipping, and everything is just like scattered. Like boom, people running into the woods, people running into the fields, people running into the house. And I'm just like, oh no, I'm not running to the woods because I don't mess with that. I don't know. I could be stepping on anything, a raccoon or something could be flying out at me or a bat. I don't have time for it. I ran straight to the field. And when I was running to the field, I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, get me through this guy. 
I met up with my brother and his homeboys. We all ran to the field. So I'm just like, okay, all right, yeah, we got to go. We got to go. Like, the cops are here, everything. Then all of a sudden, we run in the fields. The searchlight is, like, on the car. The cop car is going across the field. We had to drop down. We had to crawl on the ground like military, like we were in boot camp or something. And I'm just like, oh, my gosh. So we crawling and, and getting on the ground. We had to get to the car on the other side. Mind you, we parked up by where the police had pulled up. So we had to sneak all the way around just to get into the car. My brother reversed, skidded off. And then all of a sudden, the cops had made it back to the car and it was actually another one coming on site to come and they was like about to chase us so we drove over to a road that's on the side of the woods all of a sudden you see people flying out of the woods left and right and jumping down like because it was kind of like a hill or whatever and his homeboy his other homeboy that rode with us came out of the woods and jumped into the car while the car was moving and then all of a sudden the cops was like the the siren like we we zoom in and we zoom in too so we going fast like pedal to the metal and we pulled off like it took us like 10 minutes or 20 minutes to get to a gas station we pulled into the gas station into a parking lot and after that it was so funny because the police had passed us by i was like that was some crazy so after that, I was like, this is one for the books. And it's crazy because my brother later told me, on, like, later on, he was just like, well, you know, bro, that party that we went to, they, my homeboys or his little classmate, they had that party at a house that was not even theirs. They just knew the people that were going to be out of town. I said, if we would have got caught, we was going down. We was going to jail. We was going to the slammers. Like, we was break, break, breaking in and entering into a home that was not ours. So, that party is something for the books. Tell my kids, kids, and everything. And that's, you heard it, you heard it first from your boy, Marquis Stewart, also known as Mar Mar. You know, there's never a dull moment with me or my family. So, you know, that, that's that story. And how about that for your first party? I can say, you know what, to be honest and to like think about it right now, I'm just like, you know, I feel cool. And every time I tell people the story, it just gets better and better. Like, <laughs> I would never forget the story. I would never forget this. This is one for the books. Like, when I, I promise you when I say that. And I'm just like, man, it's so crazy how it happened. But at least I can say that I partied for like, five minutes at least at the most <laughs> well that's that story and this is your boy marquis stewart also known as marmar signing off hope you enjoyed the story and just live laugh and have fun <laughs> and share this story with people <laughs>